Okay, in this video, I just wanted to go through why I feel like this is currently the best DTAP dummy solution for the Panasonic GH6 or the S5 series of cameras. And we've, we've kind of talked about in um, other videos that the Panasonic GH6 or the new S5s, they're using the DCC17 dummy battery. Whereas the older cameras, like say the uh, the GH5, they were using either the DMW BLF 19E batteries, and that was kind of the equivalent of the DCC 17 dummy battery. Um, and th they do work to an extent, but we get shooting restrictions on them. So um, I'll link up in the corner if you haven't seen the video about that. But Essentially, there's a wide variety of those batteries around, but they won't give you the full shooting modes if you're using a camera like the Panasonic GH6. So they're not really that useful. You lose um, quite a lot of the higher end shooting modes. So what you'll really need is a DCC17 adapter and the market for those is fairly small at the moment. The um, This, I would say, has always been the the best quality cable out there and it's actually just got a lot better so I'll just kind of run through why that is and and why I feel like this is kind of the, the best cable on the market certainly at the minute. So I ordered this cable in November <laughs> I actually got it in the um, Black Friday sales and it's taken till now which is sort of start of February to actually come through and I was a bit confused about why the stock on these was so bad I mean I'm in the UK, so it's quite hard to get things anyway. And these are kind of made, you know, made overseas and they have to be shipped. So, you know, it does take a while, but it, it turns out that they've actually changed the uh, the, the actual design of the, um, of the dummy battery. So what I'll do is I'll take it out of the packet and you can kind of see. So the... As I say, there's only really a handful of these on on the market, and a lot of them are quite poor quality kind of cables. You know, they they've either got um, quite poor connections or quite poor cables, and they're not really something that I want to rely on for shooting. So the original version of this actually came just as one solid piece. So you had um, this was all just one piece. There was no connector in it. It was just a cable. And the battery and you know the, the downside of that was that the um, the dummy uh, sorry the battery door when you put the dummy battery in because there was no um, break in the cable you only really had the D tap on the end and that's never going to go through the battery door so you essentially just have to leave the battery door open constantly on the camera like that which obviously isn't ideal because this is quite a fragile piece of the camera and you know you're not going to be able to if this is your base plate you're not going to be able to set it down you obviously would have the wire coming out but it's it's just not ideal you know you can't put a flat plate on the bottom of it if you've got this sticking out so it's um it's not ideal but as i mentioned it's still at the time was the best quality cable on the market so i thought you know i'm just going to get it i'll work around the door issue um and then to my surprise when it came they've actually change the design now so that you've got this connector and it's actually a really nice quality locking connector so you know the, the cable still no risk of it being pulled apart which as I mentioned a lot of cheaper cables they don't have locking connectors and I've had times in the past where I've, I've cheaped out on dummy batteries and they've either they've flexed or they've pulled and I've just lost power to the camera and <laughs> I said to myself, I'm I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to get decent quality batteries. So, and you know, it, as I mentioned, this isn't the cheapest battery around, but it's not overly expensive. Like I got it in the Black Friday sale for about £40. So what's that? $45, $50. And um, yeah, it's a really nice cable. So the, the kind of um, the new design is really nice because if we take out our standard battery and then push out the, the plug on the battery door got a bit of an impractical lens on there to do this so you can push in the dummy battery right down and then there's just enough flex in there just to thread that through pull it back out and then sometimes you just have to give it a little bit of a push down lock 
and then you can see that fits in there really nicely now and we haven't got the compromise of having just a cable that could be pulled apart during shooting because we've got this really nice not locking connector on there and then straight out to our DTAP to our V-mount battery. So I've been using this with um, uh, I've been using this with my existing uh, V-mount battery, but it's quite big. So I've been looking at some of the mini V-mounts, like the um, uh, I, I've ordered one of the small rig V99s. Um, but I'd be interested to know what um, people have been using. You know, if anyone's been using V-mount batteries with their GH6 or um, with their S5, I'd be interested to know kind of uh, what you've been using and what your setup is. I'm I'm kind of trying to keep my setup fairly light, so I opted for the V99 because it's it's a decent battery bump, but it's also you know not massive, so that that's kind of where I've gone with that. But yeah, that was um, yeah. So it's kind of a you know it's a nice surprise that um, the the cable had, had kind of been updated, and I feel like now you know for me I I do have a few kind of dummy cables for the um, for the GH6, and I I feel like kind of hands down this now is the is the best option. You know this this is all I'm going to be using going forward. So. Um, I'd highly kind of recommend this as um, as a dummy battery cable and um, yeah hopefully this video has helped if it has give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then um, please subscribe